Hello, I'm Ruth Goodman, and I have indeed written said book. <laughs> I've also brought here my willing victim. You are willing, aren't you? Yes. She's feeling rather victimised at the moment because I'm going to do her hair. Now, the first thing to say, of course, is that the marvellous Lily has the perfect Victorian hair. This is not just nice hair. This is what every Victorian girl dreamt of. You are so lucky. Look, for a start, it's the right colour. It's a nice pale blonde, but not white blonde. That would not be so cool. It's definitely not ginger, which is a good thing. See, this, not really attractive. This, very attractive. Then it's straight. This is a good thing. Most Victorian hairstyles, at least for the first three quarters of the reign, really needed straight hair. And then the next thing is, there's loads of it. It's not only long, but it's thick. You lucky, lucky, lucky girl. So how about if we go for the really beginning of, of Victoria's reign, is that right with you? Yeah. yeah. So 1839, 1839. In which case you need a double parting because for a very short period it was fashionable not to have a single centre parting but to have a V-shaped parting. So bandoline is, well, it's what hairspray, basically. It's not going to be sprayed on, it's just going to be put on the comb and put on, but other than that, it's a very similar product to hairspray. So I'm going to start with this stuff, which is gum arabic. You're probably very familiar with it. You've been using it and probably eating it all your life. It's in many foods, including lots of sweets. Um, it's the same stuff that you use for doing watercolour paints. Um, I don't know, it's got so many uses, I can hardly remember them all. Now, that should be plenty. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to add some rose oil. You really don't need much of that, that's enough. Tiny amount. Just that tiny, tiny little bit. Strong stuff. And then our other ingredient, vodka. Any white spirit would do, gin would do just as well. And that thins the whole thing, as well as acting as a preservative. And that, believe it or not, is your hairspray. So it's normally applied either with the finger, just to, you, you know, you've got a wispy bit, you would just pop it on, your, on, the, on the finger just a little bit, and then just brush it in over to a little bit that you want to hold in place. Um, or you can comb it in sort of earlier on in the procedures and it will behave just like just like a, a hairspray holding you presumably against whatever the weather can throw at you so there you go all you need now is a bonnet I'm so sad you didn't bring it <laughs> definitely should have brought a bonnet I've written this book all about being an ordinary Victorian not your kings and queens and your politicians who honestly bore me a little. But the rest of us, you and me, um, it's about the nitty gritty and the details of being a human being in Victorian London, in Victorian Liverpool, in Victorian countryside anywhere in Britain. <laughs> <laughs>